Everybody unite to Pink Leg. Two beer. Two random beers here. Two random beers. Welcome back. We have a brand new beer for you. I can't wait to unveil what it is. It's by Fuller's. It's the Honeydew Golden Ale. Um, and it's refreshingly golden and refreshingly just just zesty, organic. Produced so, organically. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's, where is it brewed? Um, I believe, I don't even know. I wonder where is this from? It's imported in Australia. Oh, Australia, mate. Hmm. Wow. Wow, so it's a it's an Fuller's. Australian bear. And it's organic, and it's, really, it's supposed to be very refreshing. Yes, organic made with, you know, malted barley, honey, hops, mm. yeast, mm. and water. Mm. The most important ingredient. Yeah. Sounds yes. good. From the uh, Organic Social, excuse me, the Organic Soil Association. Wow. So we are really getting organically inclined with beer now. We are really bringing it We're back down. Yes, yes. Um, but will it still pack the same punch as it would if it wasn't? This is a treat for us. Shout out to all my organic folk who are already drink this beer. It looks nice, it looks golden. It's very golden aura. It's very golden, it looks good, zesty. Got a lot of fizz going on in there. Short head over there. It looks really good. This is a bigger bottle, so it's uh, a longer than usual for us. So Absolutely. 500 milliliters. Yeah. Organically refreshing, uh, organic golden ale with honeydew. I can already smell it. It's got like a very like like almost like a floral scent to it. Mmm. Mm, very honeydew. Very honeydew. Very melon. Mm -hmm. This smells amazing. Look at that. It smells wonderful. Brewed beside the Thames. The Thames. Since 1845. 1845. Wow. Oh. It looks good. It smells good. Let's see if it tastes good. Cheers. Wow. Crisp. Sharp. Refreshing. Tangy. Golden. Hot. Malted yeast. Barley. Did I say golden? This is gold. Mmm. Refreshing. Refreshing. Um. Yes. Very refreshing. It goes down mm. smooth. I like, like uh, it. Like water with like a, mm -hmm. a little kick to it. With a little kick to it. A sharp kick to it. But rich in flavor. Rich in texture. I would love this after a hike. Much richer than your normal lighter beers. Yeah, it's richer. Yeah, very. And it's, and it's tasty. Mm. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I feel some type of citrus going on. And it has to be the honeydew. Yeah. I like this. Would you get this again? Absolutely. Really? You would go up? I, but this is like a... Mm. Mm. I'd give it like a four and a half months. Wow, what a high rating that is. The Honeydew by Fuller's came with it. Me, I would also get this again. I would definitely get it again. If I know I'm doing some type of out activity, shooting hoops, playing ball, doing whatever, I know after that I would love one of these. Yeah. Yeah. You know, to replenish all the lost nutrients. What it's a better so way than an organic honeydew ale. I mean, it's organic, it has fruit, it's got honey. And it's not lying when it says it's, it's refreshing. Water. Oh boy, it's so refreshing. This, yeah, this is, um, wow, one of the, the better ales that I've yeah. had. We drink a lot of ales here. Yeah, we do. Drink a lot um, of everything around here, but for what it is, I'm actually gonna match you the four and a half mugs Ooh. over here. Four and a half mugs. It's both amazing. Around the corner. It's amazing. It, it yeah. really is. Um, wow. Oh, 
it's it's um, so sharp too. It's so sharp. It gives you like that little buzz on, uh, on your on your palate, just just like to, to it's a zing. Mm. It hits you like a carbonation, mm. like carbon. Mm. Yeah, carbonation. but not too poppy. It's no. not too poppy. Not poppy. Yeah, almost fizzy. Yeah, <laughs> you're like a little fizzy. Yeah, yeah, fizzy bear. Fizzy bear. From yeah. Fuller's hair. So it looks like do two random bears again. Yo, go grab yourself some Fuller's. Yeah, check it out. Ale. It's golden and refreshing. Let us know what you think about the honeydew and what other bears you'd like to see us try here at Two Random Bears. Please. And we'll be back real soon with more bears. here today for you we got fuller's london porter coming from straight from england there london england yes it's a it's a london porter and there's something special about this what's special about what's so this? special that this is specifically rich dark and complex complex i want to find out what this complex thing is about i might not even be able to understand it. Mm -hmm. brought to you by the griffin look at that very is distinguished and noble Griffin. Yes. Here we go. Look From at this. Uh, London, England, you say? London, England. Uh, it's brewed right off the Thames River. This is a porter that gets its name from, you know, the old porters who used to uh, distribute goods in and out through the city of ah, London. And probably a major import section yes. with the Thames River. Mm. You know, this has definite uh, chocolate notes and and multi chocolate undertones on this. Can you give a little description on this channel? The London Porter takes its name from the porters who carried goods around the streets of London in the 18th century. The prize winning bear is brewed using pale crystal brown and chocolate malts combined with Fuggles hops, giving a rich, dark, and complex flavor. Yeah. London Porter boasts wonderful chocolate notes and a smooth, satisfying finish. We are no stranger to the porters here at Two Random Bears. Yeah, there. Shall we gather in the uh, whiff of the test? aroma? Aroma? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Distinguished enough for you, mm -hmm. my nobleman. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Say, I'm contrary. I'm contrary. My deeper stairs and apologies. Mmm. It is very rich. It kind of smells like a wine or a vino. Does kind of smell. Like I, I do. I picked that up as well. Like it's, it doesn't have that uh, roughness of a beer. No, right? not so edgy around the corners. I'm rather much interested to partake in this beer. Yes, yes. We do. Shall do we? Yes. Why not? We shall. All. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Mmm, quite wonderful indeed. Indeed, quite wonderful and different. I am getting the complex flavors as I am getting a mixed array of different varieties swimming in my tongue. Taste yeah, well, well, let me try for another second well, because I don't know what to get. For a five point pour, four percent, it goes down smooth and light as you would think, and it's got a nice, rich bite for yes. a quarter. Yes, I do taste, there's just so many different, um, taste going on here. I taste a little bit of the hops. I taste a little bitterness. Mm -hmm. I taste the malt in the barrel. I taste some chocolate. I definitely getting that like dark chocolate in Yes, in yes, yes. Like a, you know when we film. say um bitterness, <clears throat> but it's more like a dull mm. bitter. Not like a sharp bitter, yes. but a dull bitter. I like it. it. It's got like like a heavy dark chocolate bitterness mm. to it. It almost tastes uh healthy for you. This is quite pleasing. Must I, I say? Must I say agreeable. Uh, many porters have made its rounds through this table and this is easily one of my top three. You know what? I'm gonna have to say so to myself. This is not... But I will say this is a man's porter. 
this is a porter that if you are a casual beer drink I would not suggest this for you for these taste boards are much too complex for the nervous if you are a fan of any porter that I would suggest that uh, so try this could be uh, like more like a regular occasional beer Something I could drink on the regular. Um, would you partake in this beer again? Well, since you uh, brought the question up, I'm definitely gonna say yes or yay. Um, this is one of the best porters I've had. It's the exact taste that I can have at any season. Um, I just cannot say much about this beer, too much about this beer, because words don't even really grasp the complex flavors going on, you have to try it. How I, about yourself, I, sir? I would also get this again. Uh, this is a very light, um, easy to go down porter. Porters are usually a little harsher, sometimes uh, a dark, uh, really dark uh, taste yeah. to them. Yeah, so dark, muddy. A lighter taste to mm -hmm. it. It goes on very smooth. Um, I like the little chocolate notes at the end of That's it. That's a great part of it. Um, I would give this four mugs. Yes, uh, that's that's an amazing way to say it because I'm personally going to give it four mugs also. This is a four, four mug beer to ruin through. Yes. Mm -hmm. and one um, more sip for you. Would really like if you would like subscribe and comment oh, yeah. what kind of beers you would like us to try. Um, what's your favorite beer? We'll try to find this beer. Definitely try this beer. It's hard to find out here in the States. This was smuggled through foreign customs across the seas of the Atlantic. Oh, sorry.